Welcome to Selembang. We arrived yesterday and had a pretty interesting journey. The best bus journey ever that we've ever had. Have a look. Serious? Serious. She's got a back massage. <laughs> oh my god. Let me see. <laughs> it's vibrating. Look at that. Are you comfortable? I'm having the best time ever. I can't believe this. This chair has a massage, got an iPad. Living the life, huh? <laughs> I'm having the best life. So it's a shame they tell you a short trip. Seriously, guys, you need to try out this uh, company, Billion Star Express Luxury. Look at this. Back massage while on the road. So that was our lovely journey here, our lovely bus journey. We are in Surinbang, like he said before. This is the capital city of Negiristi Milan, and it was declared as a city in January 2020, so pretty recent. Mm -hmm. And today we're going to be visiting the touristy spots around the city, within the city centre. It's super hot already, but we're going to walk. I think we're going to walk a lot today. Uh, we're going to walk around, see what this place has to offer. I can see here uh, a church we haven't visited a church recently in malaysia yeah. actually i haven't been in a church in malaysia so today we're going to give that a try mm. walk to the touristy spots around the city and yeah that's the plan for today all right let's go Hello, can we visit? Why? Around? Outside? Also, can Oh, okay. Saturday, Saturday. Right. We wanted to visit, but we're not allowed, so this is the church. It's called the Wesley Church. It was built in 1920, so precisely 100 years. Looks pretty cool. It's a shame that we can't enter, but it's pretty from the yeah. outside. Uh, morning 7.30. 7.30. Yeah. Until 9 o'clock. Oh, so morning only as a visitor. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Because this is school. Sorry? School, this is. Ah. Oh. This is only school. Oh, because church is on Sunday only open. Oh. Because so as we were walking, we saw some people in and out of the church, and we went back again and asked why we couldn't visit the church and she said the lady said that the church is only open for visiting on Sundays which is tomorrow mm. from 7 30 until 9 or something yeah so I don't know if we're gonna come back tomorrow that early to visit the church to and she honest. was saying that this is a school uh, over there so this is like a Catholic school I guess yeah I think the school and the church share the common grounds mm. and that's one of the reasons why we cannot go as well because it's a school they have to Protect. The, yeah, they have to keep the environment safe. Uh, yeah, safe. Especially now that the cases of COVID are rising. Mm. So yeah, it's a pretty good, good idea because we don't really need to go to the church if we're not praying. So very nice, very nice church. has the best ATMs in all of Malaysia and the best guarded. Look at this. <laughs> Street art in Malaysia is becoming a usual thing now to check out for us. Yeah, we saw it first time Josh Town, Ipoh, Kota Baru, now in Sinabang. Look at this. Asia represented right here, Chinese, Indian and Malay. <laughs> Nick in the sweets, the queen. Do you think this is on there on there? The one yep. that we made in Plantan? Mm -hmm. Looks like on there, on there. Mm. 
We found another church in the city, it's called Church of Visitation. It's closed, I think it opens at 6 o'clock, but because of coronavirus, it might not open at all. Yeah, I don't know if there are, if there is any, any prayers going on because of the virus, we shall see. I don't know if we're going to come back, do you want to come back at 6? We can try, we will see how the day goes. Yeah. This is the oldest church in Saraban, it was built in 1885. We came down to a very famous place. We came to have uh, Chendo Biasa and. Chendo Bandung. Mm. Looks refreshing, exactly what we needed because it's so hot outside and we've been walking for a long time already. So. Time for a break. break. We've said like a million times it's hot, it's extremely hot in Malaysia all the time. Mm. Very nice. Got Chendo. Quite sure. Chendo and I think there's brown sugar and coconut milk or something. Mm. I'm obsessed with this one now. Try it. Good stuff, good, good stuff. Mm. Me too. <laughs> this is sweeter. And it is nice. The syrup makes a big difference. It's time for history lesson with Christiana. Bum bum. It's not really a history lesson. It's just some sort of random stuff that I read online and I found super interesting about Nagiri Simbilan, the whole state. So Nagiri Simbilan is influenced by the Minangkabau people and Minangkabau people came here and settled here in the 1500s. They came from West Sumatra in Indonesia and obviously they brought a little bit of their own culture with them. So that's why some of the buildings here uh, have a little bit of a strange architecture on the roof. And some of the roofs here resemble like buffalo horns and Minangkabau comes from a Malay word uh, Menang Kurabau, which means winning buffalo, and that's why the roof are structured like a buffalo horn. So this is like something I found super interesting. That Nagiri Simbilan, such a small state, close to KL, has so much history, and it's so different from the rest of Malaysia. I think whole, I think most of the the states here have their own history and their own thing going on. And it's super nice to, to learn more about the districts. That's why I sometimes read random stuff online. Very interesting, very intelligent girl. <laughs> Should be a teacher. <laughs> How big is that monitor lizard? Looks like a crocodile. <laughs> Basar, Basar. Looks like we're back in Kwantan, the river cruise, spotting crocodiles. Where is he? Oh, there he is. He seems to be having a good time. Chilling in the water. Swimming around. Oh, we've got an open gate. Let's try our luck. Hello. Is it opening for visiting? Yeah, the corner. The door is open. Side there. And we can go in and look around? Okay. Thank you. Okay, we are in and we can visit the outside and maybe peek a little bit into the inside. Inside, it's been renovated. I was expecting to be a bit more old. Yeah, no, I think inside it's been uh, really good taken care of and renovated, and it's all modern. Mm. There is something wrong on there. Mary and Joseph. Two Marys, there's no Joseph. I thought it was Mary and Joseph from back there, but I couldn't see properly.
the more the merrier if you know what i mean we can officially say that we visited mosques hindu temples buddhist temples and churches finally the whole lot in malaysia we did visit it uh, a church but only from the outside in Georgetown back in 2018 but that was a long time ago we didn't go inside so, so. we didn't really visit did we? no so, so it doesn't count but now today's the day we finally officially completed the whole lot so we are staying in this massive hotel here and just across there's this very strange looking lake because there's a fence all around it so a fence a lake surrounded by a fence in the middle of the city I don't know what to do with this it's very strange indeed. It is pretty strange. It's like a giant swimming pool in the middle of the city. But with a fence around it so we cannot swim. Or fish. <laughs> Onions are the best. Thank you. We came to have dinner to a restaurant called Azahaz. We came here last night when we arrived and we had murtabak. And for me, this was the best murtabak I ever had. So we came for it again. We've got red onions, pickled onions, curry sauce, and the best murtabak ever. Not greasy just perfect and this is you've got extra curry here yeah and I've got extra onions onions because I love them they sweet and sour and it's so good and spicy For me, this murtabak is really good but the best one I've ever had was in Cameron Highlands I don't agree I think this one is the best and obviously we have our tailways here as usual so you mix everything up you got the murtabak a bit of the onions dip into the curry sauce Three, two, one, go! Boom! Okay, so good. Let's enjoy dinner. Destruction. Destroyed. Destroyed dinner. It was nice. Today we walked 9.4 kilometers and we only left in the afternoon, so we walked. No, I think that's like the average of what we normally walk when we visit a place. We normally walk like between 10 to 15 kilometers. Sometimes 20, so. We walk a lot, that's why we eat a lot, but we also burn a lot of calories. <laughs> so with this, we say goodbye, hope you guys enjoyed this video, thanks so much for watching, don't forget to subscribe and we we'll see you on the next one. Peace!